you know, mobile phones have got so boring. You know, the standard block device that looks like this, it's not a new story anymore. But the thing that's captured the imagination here at MWC are the foldables. So products like this, this is a brand new product that's been announced here. Um, you can see it opens out, has a beautiful screen on the inside, all shapes and sizes. But the one that's got everybody talking is a concept product from Motorola with a screen that rolls out out of the top of the device. Now, how commercial are these? I'm not sure how big that opportunity is, but looking around, there's so many different shapes and sizes of foldables. These companies must think there's an opportunity. Foldables seem to have captured the imagination amongst one part of consumers, and you have to credit Samsung for being the market maker for this category. Roll back a few years ago, 2019, when they announced the first one, and then had all the issues with the screen. It's quite remarkable they're now on fourth generation products, they're selling millions of units. So I think that's a very interesting dimension. How big the market is, I don't know, but we're hearing fashion-led, people wanting something a little bit different, a bias towards women on the smaller flip phone, which is you know, a positive thing. It's not about you know, painting it pink. This is about real utility. People just enjoying using a really nice product. And then these bigger, more experimental products with these massive screens inside them like a mini tablet. probably demand or uh, you know interest to have a different form factor or if you're looking at the kind of uh, outward folding you know into a kind of a tablet form factor I think that has its place too but it's just a very expensive piece of kit still so whether that interest that translates into sales uh, is a different question I think for the next few years I think that'll still be a real um, niche market in the overall smartphone market.